welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca and today we're going to be talking about linear algebra. So before getting started with data science, you will want to understand linear algebra because you will want to know further down the line how algorithms work under the hood. So today we're going to be talking about matrices and their properties. And what is actually a matrix? Well, a matrix is actually a table of numbers or data representation. For example, in computer graphics, the elements inside of a matrix can represent pixels on your screen. Okay, so before actually getting started, I want to show you an idea of what a matrix looks like. So let's say we have matrix called A, and it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And it's going to look like this. We have the first element, the second, the third, and the fourth. And then, this is the first column, this is the second column, and then we have the rows. And this is going to be very important for when we're going to move forward with matrix multiplication and addition. Okay, and now that we got some basics learned, let's try to see how we can actually add two matrices. So, let's take matrix A, and that is two by two matrix, and I'm going to give it the next uh, element. So 2, 1, 3, and 4. And matrix B is also going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And it's going to be 1, 3, 2, and 2. And I'm just going to copy them so we can see how the addition is actually made. 2, 1, 3, 4. And 1, 3, Two, two. Okay, so here the addition is basically made intuitively. We will basically add the corresponding elements and it's going like this. So 2 plus 1 equals 3, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 3 and 2 is 5, 4 and 2 is 6. And one very important property of matrix addition is that it is commutative. So that means that A plus B equals B plus A. Okay, and now that we know how to add matrices, let's move on to multiplication. Multiplication is also not quite straightforward, but it's a bit more complicated and it needs a bit of practice. So bear with me. Let's take a matrix A, which is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And matrix B as well, 2, 5, 3, 3. I'm just going to copy them again for the sake of the exercise. All right, so this is the step we're at right now. Basically, what we need to do when we multiply, we will have to take the first row with the first column. So it's going to be like this. I know it's a bit confusing now, but let's take it one by one. One times two, I'm just going to write it like this, plus two times three. And this is the first element. And then we go the same. One times five plus 2 times 3. Those are the first two elements. And then we do the same with the next. 2 times 3 plus 4 times 3. And then 3 times 5 plus 4 times 3. So this is how the multiplication of any matrix is done. So let's calculate this. So it's going to be 2 plus 6, then 5 plus 6, then 6 plus 12, and 15 plus 12. And this will give us the following result. 8, 11, 18, and 27. So this is how the multiplication of matrices work. 
Basically, another important property is that the multiplication of matrices is not commutative. So A times B does not equal B times A. And I actually encourage you to take this matrices and try to multiply and see that the result is not going to be the same. All right, so now that we have learned matrix multiplication and addition, as we said in the beginning of our video, linear algebra is very important on your path to data science. Because, for example, if you have data word syncing, then that data can be represented as vectors inside of a matrix. All right, so this was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.